Welcome to The Long Run. I'm Joel. And I'm Christine. What are we doing today? We're going grocery shopping. All right. But first, we're going to actually show you some groceries that we had delivered. Yeah. Let's do that. All right. So one of the things that we decided to do different this month was we don't have a Kroger like physical store in our area, but we do have like a warehouse one that will do a delivery service. So we decided to see if we would save any money by using Kroger because sometimes they have good sales. Some some of their stuff isn't. It's like a 50-50 yep. chance. So we just went through, we price compared against Walmart and Aldi. Yep. And so this is what we ended up with. We're gonna take it out of the bag and show you. All right, we got everything out of the bags. Yeah. Here's what we got. We got some ready rice. Yep. Um, I think there was a deal it was, on that. It was a dollar ninety nine. We got ninety cents. It was a dollar ninety nine after the rebates, and was ninety ninety cents on rebates. So okay, all right, and then we got some different types of cheeses, and yep. normally we get our cheese. Uh, if we need it in bulk, we normally get that at Walmart. If we don't need a bulk, then it's usually Aldi because Aldi is usually a dollar ninety nine for yep. eight, for eight ounce. And Walmart, if you get it in the bulk size, is usually about a dollar and eighty something cents per eight ounce. But this was dollar sixty seven after our coupons. Yeah, dollar sixty seven. These were these are in app. Coupons. These weren't coupons we clipped from anywhere. Right. Right. Yes. Yes. The the app itself, not not like pieces of paper that you scan. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. All right. Um, if you know that we normally look at Aldi for uh, getting our son his fake Pringles, and uh, so we, I think right now Aldi in our area is has those for about a dollar. 69 for each can and this is actually more at a dollar 70 dollar 74 a dollar 74 per can but these are much larger so instead of getting him two small ones that would have added up like a dollar 69 times two uh for each week we got these that were a dollar seventy five, but we only got him one for each week. So yeah. we felt like that was actually saving money yeah. because these are so much larger. He doesn't need to. Yeah, we got coupon sales on those too. Yep. All right, and then we got three of these unsweetened almond milks, and um, they were a dollar and forty nine cents each. Yep. And you know, we normally pay at least two dollars for these. And so you just you had to buy three and of them. The ones we buy are the the uh, generic brands, the Aldi brands, or the Walmart brands. We don't normally get the silk right. because that's even more expensive in the in the stores. Right. So yeah, we saved by getting these in. Um, you buy buy three, you get them for a dollar forty nine a piece. Right. So we saved you know like fifty seventy seventy cents something like that. We saved two dollars and thirty cents on each one. Yeah. They're regularly three. Three seventy nine in the store. Right. Yeah, I meant like we saved yeah. seventy cents or so on each one that if we had bought the generic one yeah. and Aldi. Yep. So um we went ahead and we got the three and because they have a good expiration date always on almond milk, so that doesn't expire till May twenty twenty four. May twenty seventh, twenty twenty four. Uh so they'll be able to last a long time. And we've also found that when you open almond milk, it doesn't expire really fast, so it's good. All right, and we got the two potatoes for what? They were 79 cents each. I thought that said 79 cents a pound, but they were 79 cents each. They were $1.58. Oh, I thought we did the math and I thought we that. did too, but this says, the receipt says 79 cents each. Huh. Yeah. So we may have not made it. There may be a pound of maybe they weighed it out at a pound a piece. Okay. Maybe is what it was. Well, either way. Either we're way. not it is probably pretty close. Yeah. Um, I don't know why Kroger has to do per each instead of per pound. That makes it really hard to price compare. And we got these two Andouille sausages. We normally spend three ninety eight, three dollars mm -hmm. and ninety-eight cents for each. 
at Walmart and we got these for $3.50 each. So we saved about a dollar by getting it from there. Um, we got chicken and that chicken was $2.49 per pound. Yep. I don't see it written on there. Do you? No. But anyway, that's what the price was yep. for. It was $2.49 per pound. And we normally, normally the cheapest we have found in our area has been $2.69. Um, so I know some, some people find chicken for a lot less than that. Um, but here in Florida is still two forty nine dollars is actually a really good deal. Yeah. Uh, so we got one pack, even though we didn't really need chicken, we still went ahead and got it. We got these butters and, um, they were on sale at Aldi this week for $3.29 per pound. They were, we normally spend $3, what did we say? $3 and something. $3.29 or something like that at Sam's Club. And we get the four pounds at one time and we pay, um, uh, yeah, for like it's, it's four pounds. Well over $12, it's, about $12 for them. Yeah. And uh, yeah, like it's, it's about $3 and something. Anyway, the point is this was drum roll $2 and 29 cents per pound. Yep. So we went ahead and got four for that. Yep. And so we saved about a dollar per pound. And then uh, pineapple, it was $1.49. We're not positive that we're going to be happy with this, but we wanted to give Kroger a chance and see if the produce was good. It looks yellow on the bottom, which is good. It's still kind of green on the top, which may mean it's not quite ripe. But it could, it could be, it could be good because this yellow was an indicator it was starting to ripe. Um, so um, that's how you know, guys. You know by, I, I can't, yeah, I don't necessarily smell pineapple, but that's how you would know is, it, does it smell like a pineapple? Is it starting to turn yellow? Especially if these up here are yellow, it really means you're getting there. If it's all yellow and it's starting to turn orange, it's probably gonna already be a little too ripe. So, so this is getting close. So we, we will let you know if we picked a good pineapple, but it was only $1.49. And that's a really good price. All right, so our Kroger total was fifty dollars and forty-four cents, something like that. We'll put it right there. Yeah. And now we're going to physically walk into Walmart and get some groceries. We're grabbing some French bread. Joel's gonna. Joel and I are gonna have this for lunch tomorrow. Not the whole thing, half of it. We're gonna make French bread pizzas tomorrow. All right, we are starting to see prices going back down on eggs. Thank goodness. And since Easter is tomorrow, it may go down even more. Who knows? We're getting our son one pack of bread for his turkey sandwiches. And um, they are on rollback for $1.98. Yay. Good to see prices going down. Yay. All right, and we're getting him some turkey. Right there, that one. $8.88. One pack of provolone for $2.22. All right, we needed some drumsticks and look at that. We found a clearance deal. Y'all know because we shop on Saturdays, we seldom ever find manager specials, but here we go. Some chicken for $2.11 per pound. We're going to take that. We're getting four of the Frosted cookies and cream pop tarts for $1.92 each. That's our son's. And um, yeah, a four is sometimes he needs five, but sometimes just four is enough. Probably one bag of the dark chocolate chips. $2.32. Alright, and we are buying one two-pound box of penne pasta for $1.92. Uh, you can get um, smaller sizes at a 98 cents for each box, but that means you save four cents by getting it like this. All right, we're getting the Ragu Simply. Uh, Y'all know that uh, 
Joel is not a fan of uh, really chunky sauces that have a lot of ingredients in it. This one has garlic and basil in it, but it's not very chunky. And uh, because the ingredients are pretty simple, it's made with olive oil, and fresh garlic, so it's fairly clean compared to what some of the other ones are. It's not organic, but it's pretty good. $2.17. Getting a box of the ground rice instant, and it's $1.56. What you got there? Black beans. No salt added, and there's two cans of it, right? Yep, 82 cents. 82 cents. And how much did these cost? A dollar, a dollar, a dollar 47. A dollar, a dollar, and a dollar 47. And our Parmesan cheese? Five forty-two. Five dollars and forty-two cents. Fifty-eight cents per pound for the Nanners. We're grabbing two limes, twenty-five cents each. All right, we're gonna get some of these little baby tomatoes here. Two dollars and forty-eight cents for each of the containers there. We're going to grab two sweet potatoes at ninety-eight cents per pound. Bag of spinach. Made sure the date was far enough away that it would last at least a week. $1.98. We're grabbing one bag of these mandarins. They're $3.98 for the bag. All right, we're grabbing one uh, two pound container of strawberries and they are $5.57. All right, so there's our Walmart haul. It was $80. $84 and 26 cents. Yeah. Right yeah. Yeah. Let's now, go do Sam's Club then. Let's, let's go. We're grabbing one of these 40 pack containers of peanut butter crackers. $7 and 42 cents. What we got? Bacon. It's three pounds of it, right? Yeah. Three pounds. For eleven forty-seven, three pounds of shrimp. Sixteen ninety-eight. Sixteen dollars and ninety-eight cents. All right, so there's our Sam's haul. It was thirty-five dollars and eighty-seven cents. We'll put the total right there, and we'll also put the the total total right there, which is somewhere around one hundred and seventy dollars. Yeah, one hundred seventy-one something. Like yeah, we will have some fill-in hauls this month, but uh, that's the bulk of what we're going to buy uh, for this month. So, mm -hmm. yeah, well, there we you go. go. Yeah, not too that. not too bad. All right, so oh, right. just as an FYI, because we don't say this in every video, but we probably should. This is for three adults, not just for the two of us. Yeah, we look like we're old enough that we'd only be shopping for two people, but we're still shopping for three. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. All right, so drop us comments below. Let us know how your grocery hauls are going, uh, what you're buying these days, and uh, where you're shopping at. What kind of deals you're getting? We'd love to hear those. Um, we'd love to hear those as well as those comments from you. We're going to put a video right up here that you can click. How do we say the thing we always say? That's going to do it today for the long run with Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. Don't forget the long run. Give yourself a little grace.